I once raised a colony of Tetraponera rufa nigra for 100 days. Their journey started from a tiny test tube, just one lone queen ant, but she carried the hope for an entire empire. The colony grew fast, but their space was cramped. So I decided to move them to new home. And then the colony exploded in size. Larvae, pupae, workers, their numbers just skyrocketed. Once again, I had to relocate them to a bigger, better place. Tetrapanera rufinigra hunt with lightning fast stings. With those venom packed stings, they've grown stronger than ever. After two months, can our tiny warriors still show off their top tier hunting skills in a brand new home? Let's find out. Welcome back to Antrek. Day 160. I'm gonna check if they're ready to take on an intruder. One cockroach. Forget what just happened. Let's try again. Right away, a cockroach got surrounded. In just seconds, the ants swarmed and took down the invader. Clearly, my colony is still healthy and fierce as ever. Oh my goodness, this is so good! Come on, guys! Food's ready! Check out all those ants. No surprise that cockroach didn't stand a chance. All right, while they were busy taking out the intruder, I finished building their new home. It all starts with the foundation. A solid base makes the whole house stronger. I think I'll throw in two more for extra support. Uh, no, that's a fail. I guess I'll have to take it apart and do it all over again. Can anyone guess what I'm building next? It's a pyramid. Yeah, it's tiny, but it actually takes a lot of time. Once you get the hang of it though, it's pretty easy. If you want me to build an ant house just like this, drop a comment below. Just need a bit of decoration. All done. Let's take a look at our brand new house. Just plain yellow felt kind of boring, so I added some greenery, tossed in a few red Lego bricks for flair, and even threw in some tiny farmers. Day 180. Let the moving begin. The workers started scouting to keep the queen safe. The worker ants are lining up and moving into their new home. With this many ants, how long do you think it'll take them to finish moving in? A few worker ants just climbed to the top of the pyramid. Looks like they're scouting the area. The whole colony is still on the move, heading into their new home. The outworld's getting busier by the minute. Meanwhile, other ants are staying underground, taking care of the eggs and larvae. Tetraponera rufa nigra are different from other ants. Their big eyes give them a 180 to 200 degree view, so they can spot and attack any intruder within four to six inches. It'll take them some time to settle into this new place. I'll leave them be and check back in 10 days. Day 190. And after 10 days, our ant colony has had some drama. A few workers have died here. I've been watching them closely this whole time. What's causing these deaths? Any ideas, guys? Drop them in the comments below. But this hasn't affected the queen. Look at those eggs. Future warriors in the making. Day 210. Let's give them some food. How long will these worms last? They immediately spot an intruder crossing into their territory. But maybe they're too busy mourning the loss of a fallen sister, pretending not to see. But then... Too fast, too fierce. The tiny warrior gives the intruder no chance to fight back. Relentless attacks. Reinforcements have arrived. Can this little worm turn the tide and escape the danger? No! Get away from me! <laughs> One sting ends it all. No miracle for this poor worm. Please! Bring it home for the queen. But it's so good. It probably won't be a problem if we eat some first. That right, man? Should we test them out a bit? Okay, I decided to test their hunting abilities with a tough opponent. A centipede. Like a beast, savagely wiping out the ants without a second thought. But the ant colony isn't backing down. The ants are using sheer numbers to overwhelm the enemy. That brave little ant looks just like the main guy in Dune, riding a giant sandworm. Get away from me! Get out, please! Hang in there, guys. I think it's about to give out. Shoot it with more venom, guys. 
Looks like the centipede has finally been brought down by these fierce little warriors. Super heavy. Somebody come give me a hand. Hold on, let me get out of the way. If this weight falls on me, I'll be flat as a pancake. Oh, you darn centipede, stay still. You pinched my jaw. Size has never been a problem for ants. They may be tiny, but their unity is unmatched. No matter how massive the enemy is, they'll always find a way to win, especially with that deadly sting from their tails. The warriors who sacrificed themselves for victory. There was some loss, but then they were for the greater good for the Connolly. The Tetraponera Rufonigra ants will honor their fallen comrades in their very own Valhalla. They pick up their fallen comrades and place them in a piles. Some said that this is the way that the ant are tribute for the fallen one. Rest in peace, fellow ant. The journey just getting started. Some must sacrifice for the better, for the future of the colony. This was just the tip of the story. Their first big prey, there's still more they have to face with. Who know what these little ants have to go to fight? Drop your comment to share thoughts on our ant. Let's salute the ant for a couple seconds. All right, let's get back to the ant colony. There is no time to waste it here. Day 240. Our warriors are growing crazy fast. They've fully adapted to their new environment and are thriving like never before. Tiny, but unbelievably tough. The ants are rapidly increased their number. They just need time and enough resource. I can't not imagine how they're gonna turn out. Oh man, those future warriors. I'm gonna hook them up with some extra nutrients. They are gonna need a lot of extra protein to grow their colony. Ta-da! Today's menu features crickets. Well, too bad this guy gonna be the ant food now. Where am I? Who am I? I wanna get out of here, Art. What is this place? What is going on? Hold up, bro. Let me get one sting in first. Oh, H. No, 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 I gotta run. Don't bite me, please. One sting from a Tetrapanera Rufa Nigra releases 0.001 milligrams of venom, small but enough to paralyze prey like a cricket in seconds. I can't move what happened. Help me, help me. Now, that poor cricket's lost all sense and can't fight back. It's just gotta accept its fate. To becoming the food chain for the ant. That's just life. Don't worry, little cricket. Your contribute will be not forget it. From one queen after 260 days, the Tetra Panera Rufinigra colony has grown into a super strong empire. With their elite hunting skills, the larvae always get the best, most nutritious food. But no creature can fight nature, because I've made a mistake. You see, these little warriors thrive at 77 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit with 30 to 40 percent humidity. Lower temps around 68 degrees Fahrenheit slow their metabolism, and moisture builds up in the nest, causing the queen to stop laying eggs and burrow deep. This mighty empire is now weaker than ever. It was my mistake. So quickly, I need to move them back to their old home pronto. They leave behind the dead bodies. Those could carry diseases or parasitic fungi. I finish connecting the tube. And just in a matter of time, the ant already make their way back to their old home in just despair. And so they grab their egg and larvae. Finally, their last ant go back to their old home. After a grueling 160 day journey, hunting, fighting, sacrificing, they're back in this home. But can the queen lead this empire to glory again? Stay tuned for the next chapter of the Tetra Panera Rufinigra Empire. Follow Ant Trek so you don't miss the latest videos about the Tetra Panera Rufinigra Empire. If you've got ideas for topics, drop them in the comments below. We'll cover what you guys want most. Click here to watch more video.